There are concerns about this, this spike in coronavirus infections in the U.S. and Europe. That's partly why stocks have been under pressure, especially yesterday when we saw the Dow fall more than 600 points. There is a new study out today in England that found that the virus immunity does wear off over time. It's something that uh, doctors had warned about and that we had feared. Yahoo Finance's healthcare reporter Anjali Kamlani here with the details. Good morning, Anjali. So tell us more about this study. Good morning, Alexa. Thank you. Yep. So as you mentioned, it is exactly what um, experts have been saying for some time uh, should be the case, would be the case with coronavirus, that it doesn't, the antibodies that you build up um, after being infected will wear off over time. And the reason why this is important is because it plays a role in how the vaccine studies will then progress and our understanding of what sort of uh, protection any vaccine can give. Um, as it stands right now, the study from Imperial College London showed that uh, the antibodies bodies waned over a period of two to three months, um, and they went down about 26% overall. And so that's a, that's an interesting, and this is across age groups, by the way. We saw, um, you know, a difference in, uh, say, the uh, you know, younger population, which built up higher antibodies versus the older age group, which had lower antibody buildup, but it still waned in about the same time period. So all of this translating to really interesting sort of information to use when we get to the, to the point of having a vaccine. Vaccine. And actually, some uh, some pharma earnings out this morning. What what'd you see? Absolutely. So we've got Merck and Pfizer out. Pfizer, interesting with sort of a mixed result, still looking at that uh, spinoff from Upjohn and, and the effect of that to the note in the earnings report today saying that if that's finalized by the end of the year, um, all of the earnings, uh, you know, uh, pro projections will be overstated. So keep an eye out for that. Um, meanwhile, still waiting to hear on the coronavirus vaccine uh, that they have. The Pfizer candidate, of course, is that lead in the U.S. right now. And so we're waiting to hear on the results of that. As of now, there have been no interim study results, uh, you know, done yet, but we're waiting for that more to the middle of November, third week of November. That's when we'll get those results, and that's when we'll be able to know if the company can, in fact, file immediately after for the emergency use authorization, potentially putting them in the spot to be the first authorized vaccine by the end of this year. I want to ask you uh, about Lilly and what it's doing with its antibody trial. Um, I know that it was going through testing in um, hospitalized COVID-19 patients, but it, it has stopped that testing right now, right? It has indeed, yes. And this comes from a report that we saw that had uh, less than favorable results on the treatment. And so what they're doing right now is actually sort of the responsible route of uh, halting uh, and not uh, using that any further, but still saying that they have some hope in the treatment itself for non-hospitalized or more uh, moderate uh, patients. So as it stands right now, this sort of uh, puts into light what we've seen is that many of the treatments have targeted uh, these uh, hospitalized patients. And so there is more room for treatments for patients who are not in the hospital. All right, Anjali Kamlani, thank you.